All right, welcome to the Jazz Piano School podcast, episode number 257. My name is Brendan Lowe, creator and founder of Jazz Piano School. In this particular episode, Sterling Koza, one of our amazing jazz piano educators, is going to be teaching you about a daily warm up to help you find your own improvisational voice. Now, in this day and age, obviously, finding your own voice, your own expression, your own creativity is very, very important and obviously helpful to you in your own soul for expressing what you want to express in music. So he's going to give you some amazing, amazing tips, a warm up, some different things you can do to explore your creativity. And again, this is going to be a daily routine that you should and can use every single day to dive deep into exactly what you're trying to find and express through your improvisation, all right? If you haven't done so, go to jazzpianoschool.com to check out all of our free education, our blog, our podcast, our lick of the week, and we do have a membership available if you are interested in taking that next step with my education. Without further ado, let's dive right into this episode. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's Sterling with another podcast lesson for JPS. Today we're talking about finding our own voice through improvisation. Now, especially in jazz, people talk a lot about how to find your own voice, and that can have a lot of different meanings. You know, it can it can mean looking at your favorite improvisers and taking phrases or lines that they play. It can mean learning your favorite tunes or jazz standards or songs of you know other genres and backgrounds. Um, but today we're talking about specifically improvising. And when we talk about improvising, uh, it's something that happens in the spur of the moment and uh, you can draw from previous experience or just do something that you hear right in the moment. And uh, I like to practice that every day so that I can really develop that skill and that mindset of, of creating uh, here in the here and now. So one of my favorite ways to do that is by using drones. And I'm not talking about like drones like, you know, flying out around in the sky or shooting videos or whatever. Uh, we're talking about um, static pitches uh, created by either uh, an electric tone or an instrument. Uh, I like to use drones uh, played by either uh, a tanpura, which is a traditional Indian instrument, which you can hear in Indian classical music, uh, or cello. Uh, specifically, there's a playlist that I'm using on iTunes and it looks like this and it's cello drones for tuning and improvisation now a lot of horn player friends of mine like to use this playlist just to practice long tones and practice their intonation on their instrument uh, fortunately on, on piano we don't you really have to worry about that uh, unless we've got a, a bum piano on a gig or something that has some bad notes that we want to avoid, right? <laughs> but uh, for this one, uh, we're just going to practice on uh, improvising in different modes, different scales, different melodic ideas, um, and even some chord progressions that all work over these static tones or drones. So I'm just going to show you a little bit uh, how I would do that. Um, hopefully it will give you some ideas on some things that you can try. Um, I like to do this every morning for about five to 10 minutes, uh, just to have as part of my routine, like I said, to practice uh, being in that mindset of creating and being open to any possibilities whenever you're playing music. So let's give it a shot. This is going to be on a C. And I'm going to put on the drone. I like to use some neutral shapes in my left hand just to fill out the sound. So something like 151, one, something like that. Um, and as things progress, you know, you can use some different voicings to accompany yourself however you see fit. So let's start with a little bit of uh, some scale practice, a little out of time improvisation. Let's try it. So here's the drone, there's that static tone that you hear.
I bring in some chords to accompany myself. And sometimes I'll bring in a groove if I'm feeling it, maybe bring in time, some time. Just some voicings this way too. Alright, so that was a little bit of drone improvisation. Uh, just to recap, we started off out of time, just exploring some free melodies, uh, kind of in C, kind of major territory. Uh, we explored some chromatic triadic harmonies, some, some triads moving through some different keys. Um, and eventually we brought in the time, you know, kind of a time feel, a pulse to give our melodies some rhythmic context. And then we finished it off with some uh, exploratory chord voicings, some fourth-based voicings, and also some chromatic motion. Uh, I like to create chord progressions that kind of work around this C drone. Uh, and sometimes I come up with ideas for compositions uh, this way. So when we talk about finding your own voice, I think this is a great way to do it because it's sort of like a clean slate for you to just try anything. Uh, within the comfort of your own practice room. 
So anything can really happen as long as you're open to it. So I hope that you found this uh, interesting and, and helpful as, as an idea of how you can uh, increase your own creativity and add to your practice routine. Uh, and I hope that you enjoy uh, your drone improvisations. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to go to jazzpianoschool.com to check out all of our free, amazing education, all of the free podcast blogs. We do have a membership if you're looking to take a next step forward with us, get access to over a thousand different jazz piano videos, playbooks, mini courses, a main course curriculum, success path, and so much more. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at jazzpianoschool.com. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy practicing.